Do you remember this clip? Go on 60 FPS. Yeah, Mongo proves here that you can still compete on low FPS. However, there are some secrets that you'll need to know. So in this video, I'm going to be revealing these secrets to help you low FPS players out. Let's get into it. Tip number one, cap your FPS. The biggest thing to remember when you're trying to obtain smooth gameplay is that you need consistent frames, even if these frames are lower than where you peak. For example, if you're running between 60 and 80 frames, you'll want to cap your FPS at 60 and not 120. By doing this, you'll be able to rely on getting a constant frame rate. This prevents screen tearing, input delay, and noticeable stuttering. Ultimately, you'll get a smoother experience when on a set amount of frames. This is a lot more beneficial than trying to push higher frames and dealing with constant disruptions. To cap your FPS, go to the video section of your settings and adjust your frame rate limit to one in which your system can consistently handle. If you're on console, don't worry, this has already been pre-applied to your system, so there's no option nor need to adjust it. Tip number two, plug your monitors into your GPU. If you're on PC, a very simple error that you made could be the reason for your low FPS. When setting up your display, make sure that your monitor is connected directly into your graphics card rather than your motherboard. If it is plugged into your motherboard, you're overloading your CPU and therefore significantly dropping your frames. I can't tell you how many times somebody has asked me why they're running such low FPS just for me to find out their monitors are actually plugged into their motherboard. So how do you know where your monitors are plugged in? Don't worry, it's actually quite simple. First, make sure that the cable connecting your PC to your monitor is not plugged in up here on this thing called the IO shield. Instead, have it plugged in down here, directly into your graphics card. By doing this, some of the workload that was previously put on your CPU is now being split with the GPU. Once this is done, load up Fortnite and you'll see a crazy boost in your FPS. Tip number three, play at a slower pace. Stop trying to flick around and be flashy. When you're on less than optimal frames, you'll receive information slower compared to your opponents. To counter this, you have to focus more towards strategy and decision making. Slow down your building, editing, and movements to focus on aim and IQ. A lower sensitivity may help you out if you're having trouble committing to that. Just remember to stay calm and play to your strengths. Not only will this enhance your awareness and consistency, but ultimately, you'll be able to better comprehend what's happening around you. Tip number four, become an IGL. It's common knowledge that fighting on low FPS is a struggle, meaning if you're already a solid fighter, then you're way ahead of most. Though keep in mind, you don't need to force yourself to become a god fighter. However, you do need to keep playing regularly and learn from your mistakes. With the frames you have, you're better off taking on more of an IGL role. Start VOD reviewing and studying pro strategies whenever you have a chance, especially those with good IGLs. I personally recommend watching back Epic Whale or Acorns tournaments. As you continue to do this, your game knowledge will eventually outweigh the disadvantages of low frames. Tip number five, avoid high traffic areas. Remember when Tilted Towers was in the game? Yeah, all of our frames would take a tank, no matter how good the system was. Anybody on lower end systems knows how they would avoid the POI at any means. This is something you low frame players should never stop doing. Avoid large POIs, mid game fights, and just overall populated areas. By doing this, you'll minimize frame drops and prevent any unnecessary lag. If you're on low FPS, you need to implement these five tips into your own game. After you do, you'll undoubtedly see an improvement in your overall play. Before you leave, I have one more thing I need to say. One of the simplest, yet most crucial things when trying to go pro is making sure that you surround yourself with good players. Not only that, players who are just as motivated as you are. Join my competitive friend group with a Discord invite link at the top of the description. It's a great community where everyone is trying to go pro. Once you're in, make sure to message is or send me in general chat and I'll be sure to reply. Now that's out of the way, I just want to say that I hope you learned something from watching my video. If you did, please consider leaving a like or dropping a sub. With all that being said, thanks for watching.